Hi there, my name is Remy Sharp, and uh, recently I've been blogging about uh, my test setup and what I've been doing with tests and uh, some of the runners I've been using, some of the little tricks I've been using. And um, this is the next part for me, basically. When debugging problems, I want to write a test that fails first um, and then go ahead and debug it. And this is the workflow I've started adopting with Node. So um, the first thing is I've got my uh, npm scripts. I'm just using a program called tap to run my uh, tests. I have npm test which just does the regular uh, test runner and I have npm uh, run cover and it will give me a coverage report. So um, if I run npm test now I see that um, I have my 18 tests are passing and I'm going to run the, uh, the cover and that will launch um, Istanbul for me uh, with a report. Now I've only been testing um, args.js and when I scroll down I can actually see that these two overrides aren't being used so it means I'm missing um, some tests. So I'm going to go ahead and add the code into my um, uh, my test script. Uh, so I've just copied and pasted. Basically here the magic arg is um, uh, dash v and it should translate the command to version. Okay, so that's what the override does. Um, let's just write it as console.log and um, when I run it, okay, so I'm running the whole test suite, um, I get a failure. I'm also getting all the uh, coverage in line. Um, and what I would also do is just do tap uh, test and um, then the script by itself. Okay, so this is failing. And I'm expecting the command to be uh, version, not index, and uh, it's not. So this is what I started doing. Oh, and I use um, uh, test tap only to allow to support kind of a test only, since that's one feature that's missing in tap that I quite like. Um, and I've added a debugger command here, and instead of using Node, I'm going to use a, a tool called DevTool, which is similar to the Web Inspector, um, or I think it's called yeah, Node Inspector, um, very similar to Iron Node as well. Um, I've been using it a lot recently, and I'm finding it very compatible with the way I work. So um, I've already done npm install dash g DevTool. Okay. Um, now I'm going to run. Instead of running tap, I'm going to change it to DevTool. And because I'm going to break, go into um, uh, basically the DevTools from Chrome, it's going to break on that, um, uh, that debugger statement that I added. <clears throat> As we can see here. So I'm about to run the code that's going to work out that the uh, res.command is wrong. So from here, I go ahead and step through the code. Um, and I can go ahead and work out what the defaults are. I can actually check code ahead of time uh, using a watch. So uh, I think, let's get rid of these previous watches. Um, so do check for version. Uh, I think it actually removes it, so it might, I wanna look at defaults. Uh, And if I step over that code, uh, the defaults has remained the same, so it hasn't affected it. I can actually step in to check. Um, uh, I'm basically cloning into an empty object, so I'm overriding. I, I'm basically merging the defaults into the user options, and then getting my settings out. Um, so I'm expecting the settings. Uh, to look very similar to the defaults, in fact. Um, I also have the full console over here, so I can do settings, and I can go ahead and inspect it like that, or I can look at the full page console, um, and I can go ahead and walk through um, different objects. I can do what I would normally do in the step uh, debugger. And I have a preview of all the values here, which is good. Um, I know that basically the command has worked out here, so I'm just gonna right click and continue to here. Now I'm talking, I haven't actually solved why uh, this is defaulting to index yet, so um, I'm literally debugging this live um, in this um, session. So what we're trying to work out is command is equal to um, either the override or 
um, the argument that the user passed in. So at the moment, I can actually see that the override is false, which means that um, args help and args version is not true. And okay, so there we go. I found the reason for that. Um, where is args defined? Args is our function name. <clears throat> I've highlighted that. Obviously, args help and args version isn't true because this is the wrong variable. This is supposed to be res. So if I change that to res, change that to res. Um, I've saved it. This is the one thing that it doesn't have. I mean, I can right click and save to disk, but it doesn't have workspaces. Um, so I've saved that um, because the code has already passed that. It's, um, it's not backed up. Uh, so that's to be expected and a bit of a shame. Um, I'm going to run the continue to run a code and actually it should. Does it echo out to standard out? Uh, where did it go? Yeah, so end up inside of the uh, the console. The problem was that the um, the the reason it's failed actually is because it timed out because I paused the code. But from here, I still got the the tool open. I can go ahead and make the change in my code here. Uh, so this was it. So it's supposed to be res. So I've just hit save. I'm not. I haven't got any runner in the background. I'm just going to hit refresh inside of the dev tool. And now, because I've just made that change, I'm going to go and step ahead, go ahead and step in. But I'm going to continue down to uh, the same point as I did before. And we can see override is version. And if I just literally run this one line of code, I mean, I could just let it run and see what the result was. But I'm pretty certain that we get version uh, back. So I'm getting the internal uh, version string, which is exactly what I want. The test is now going to fail anyway because um, uh, because I'm actually looking for an exact match on version, and that's not going to work. But at least I know I've got the, um, the right string back. So that's how I'm using um, uh, Node, Tap, and DevTool together to do kind of real-time debugging and basically get into the code and, and see what's going on. Um, that combined with my knowledge from uh, client-side debugging using DevTools makes this an extremely effective workflow for me to actually understand where the code is going wrong and digging in and setting breakpoints and just arbitrary adding, arbitrarily adding lines like this, the, uh, the debugger statement. Um, <clears throat> very, very powerful for me. Like I said, the one thing that's missing is the workspaces. There's an open issue on um, the, uh, I can't remember what it's called, the, not um, Atom, but the, um, whatever, the Chrome for that DevTools is running inside of with Node. There's an open issue to try and get support for workspaces, but I'm not holding my breath for that at the moment. Anyway, cool. Hopefully this is useful to uh, some of you. Um, and thanks for watching. Cheers.